Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to disable moving or copying of objects in ClickView. Or, as a developer, you need to take care of a few basic things before you deploy your application onto Access Point. I've built this sample application just for fun, which shows some information about cricket score and the strike rate. However, it looks nice here, but once you deploy this application to Access Point, users can actually drag and drop objects. Users can move the objects or they can uh, look at the properties or move the objects. So let's say, for example, they wanted to make some selections and it becomes, and they realize that they move the objects. It looks really unprofessional. So make sure that you need to disable the copy and the move properties whenever you're deploying your application onto access point. So to do for an individual objects, and if you have multiple sheets in a document, it is a time consuming process. However, thankfully we have a shortcut. So I'll show you the shortcut method on how to disable the move or the copy properties for the click view document. So let me undo this first. So I have things here. As you know that you can right click on any of the objects and look at the properties under layout tab you can see allow move or size and allow copy or clone. You can uncheck them, but however, however, to do the same thing across all the sheets and all the sheet objects within the document becomes difficult. So to do it, to do it in a simplest way, all you have to do is go to sheet properties, which is control alt S and then go to the security tab. So you have this user privileges options here so all you have to do is check the option apply to all sheets we just have one sheet here but it will work for all the sheets and make sure that uncheck this option which is move size sheet objects and uncheck this option copy clone sheet objects and also i would be i would generally go ahead and uncheck this option as well where users cannot remove sheets nor the sheet objects and if required, in fact, uh, uh, you can uncheck this one as well. But make sure that you do perform this task just before you save the application onto the access point. So let's go ahead and click on apply and click on OK. So now let's try to move the objects. It's perfect. It doesn't move, but you can still make the selections and you can do whatever you wanted to do. Let me clear the selection and then I can still make the selection here. Click on it click on this. So this seems to be an easy way. And if I wanted to go to properties, I will not be able to go. I can't see the properties here because we have disabled it. And if I wanted to remove this object, I can't do that either. So let, let me go ahead and enable these two options and show you that it works. So now I, I have remove sheet objects and access sheet object properties. Now, if I come here, I can see the properties. I can see the remove method as well. So this is a simple technique, but make sure that you do this because it really doesn't look good if your business analyst or project manager wants to present through access point and if the objects are moving, it doesn't look good as a developer. I generally add this as my checklist process every time before I save it to access point. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.